Hey, this is Safivari from LinkedInNerve.com and welcome to another video in the beginner series. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can find the chords to any scale, whether minor or major, in just 5 seconds. Well, maybe 10 seconds, but still very quickly. Now, it's just a simple formula and there are two things you need to know in order to accomplish this formula. Uh, one thing is barred chords. Okay, just major and minor barred chords. Okay, A shaped, A minor shaped, E shaped, and E minor shaped. That's all. The second thing is a concept called relative chords, relative minor and major chords. Uh, for example, every minor chord has its own relative major chord. Every major chord has its own relative minor chord. For example, A minor and C major are relative minor and major chords. Why is that? Because their scales, the A minor scale and the C major scale, both have the same notes, only starting and ending at different places. Okay? Uh, for example, let's see. These notes... Okay, are both the C major scale and the A minor scale just starting and ending at different places. For example, the A minor scale and the C major scales both have the same notes. You see, you've just heard two different scales, a minor scale and a major scale, and both of them had the same notes. Okay, so every minor chord has a relative major chord. Okay, and the formula to find these relative major and minor chords um, is just a step and a half, three frets apart. Okay? For example, let's say we're playing A, A major. It's on five, right? So let's go back three frets, one, two, three, to fret number two, and we have its minor relative, F sharp minor. Okay, uh, let's search for a different one. Um, let's say we have um, B minor, okay? Now, if we went back, from major to minor, then we have to go forward from minor to major. So if we have B minor on two, then we're gonna have to go three frets up, three, four, five, to find its major relative, and it's D. Okay? That's it. It's just three frets apart from minor to major, or from major down to minor. Okay, so let's begin. Let's say we want to find the chords for the C major scale. Okay? The C chord, E shaped, with its bass on the E bass, is at 8, right? Okay, this is C. Okay, on 8. So, we have C. Now, that's the first chord of the scale. Below it, okay, or above it musically, above it musically, below it physically, uh, one string up musically, one string down physically. I like to talk about the physical aspect because we're visual people. Um, so below it, A shaped, is the F chord on eight, right? We have C right here. Below it, we have F. Right? Now, two frets above the F, take the F chord two frets up, and you have G. Now, these are the first, the fourth, and the fifth chords of the scale. The blues chords, the rock and roll chords, the, the, the core chords of the scale, the one, four, and five. So, you know that you have one, below it you have four, and two frets above the four, you have the five. So you know that those are the major chords. You have C, F, and G, right? You have C, F, G. These are the one, the four, and the five. 
Okay, and it's a very simple formula. It's one. Uh, it's the it's the one on the E string. Below it on the A string is the four, and two frets up on the A string is the five. So it's one, four, five. Okay, if you know how to play the blues, or if you've ever played a rock and roll song, you already know how to play these this chord progression. Okay, one, four, and five. Now comes the magic. If you know where the one, the four, and the five are, then you know where the six, the two, and the three are because they're three frets back. Okay, there are three, three frets behind the major chords, and those are the minor chords of the scale. So let's go from eight, three frets down to five, and we have A minor. Okay, they're all minor chords now, so we have A minor, which is the six. Above it we have D minor, which is the two. And two frets above that we have E minor, which is the three. So there we have it. We have the one, four, five major chords. And below them, three frets below them, we have three minor chords the relative minor chords of those chords. A minor, D minor, and E minor. Okay? Don't worry if you still haven't understood it to the fullest. I'm gonna explain it. We're gonna talk about the minor scales as well. We're just talking about the major scale first because for some reason major comes first. So... Now, if this is 1, 4, and 5, and these are 6, 2, and 3, okay? And if you look at it, it's th 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1 again. Now, where's the 8? Uh, where, this is the 8. Where's the 7? Where's the 7th chord? Now, I'm assuming that you're a beginner. So... For now, we're not going to talk about the seventh chord because the seventh chord is a diminished chord. It's a diminished chord, and um, for harmonic purposes, I prefer to talk about the minor seven flat five chord, which is a half diminished chord, because it sounds a little better than the diminished chord for the beginner ear. But let's save that for a different lesson because I want to keep this as simple as possible. Because um, most chances are, if you're a beginner, you're not going to play a diminished chord anytime soon. You, uh, in all of the songs you're going to play, you're going to play minor, minor uh, chords, major chords, seventh chords, minor seventh chords. You're not going to play a diminished chord yet. Okay? Um, so let's just leave the diminished chord, the seventh uh, chord of the scale, out of this. Just for now, there's going to be another lesson uh, about more complex chords. Okay, this is just about the formula on how to find the harmonic the harmonic chords of the scale, the diatonic chords of the scale. Okay, now if this is one, four, five, and six, two, three, okay, then this is both the C major scale and the A minor scale, because if this is the C major scale, it's also one, two, three, the A minor scale. Okay, so in both scales we have A minor, D minor, E minor, C major, F major, and G major. Okay, now, um, the attributes the, the place in the scale changes. Now, if we're talking about the A minor scale, then the minors are 1, 4, and 5. Okay? And the majors are 3, 6, and 7. Okay? The diminished chord becomes the second chord of the scale. So we'll leave that out. Okay? So in the minor scale, you have 1, 4, and 5. And you have three, six, and seven. Okay? 
Now, um, this is this formula is particularly good for composition because if you want to know the chords to your scale immediately, then all you have to do is just find the one, four, and five, and then transpose that three frets down or up for the relative chord. Okay, if you're in a minor, if you're in a minor scale, then take it up three frets for the major chord, and if you're in a major scale, take it down three frets for the minor chord. But there's a different version for this is just one of two versions of the scale. Why? Because you can start the scale with an A-shaped bar as well. Okay? Now let's say that we're at the uh, let's take the E major scale, okay? On seven. Okay? A shapes. Now our bass note is on A. Okay, so how do we find the 1, 4, and 5? It's very simple. Um, it's, it's kind of a mirror image of the previous uh, pattern. If the previous pattern was down one string, up two frets, then this time, let's say we're at 7, okay, on the E major scale, then this time we're gonna go up one string to the E string and back two frets for the four, okay? And then we're gonna go two frets back up for the five, okay? For ex now, an easier way to look at it was that before we had one and below it we had the four. Now, we have the one on the A string the base of the first of the first chord of the scale of the root chord and above it we have the five okay so it's one and the five is above it so the four is two frets down okay so we have one four five okay one four is two frets down down one string and you go back up two strings for five to the same fret that the one is at below it. Okay, I hope you got it. So, if we have the E major chord, we have one, we have the four on the fifth fret, okay, two frets back, we were at seven, okay, so we have four on the E, uh, on the e string, the bass is on the E string, so it's E shaped, and we have five, two frets up. So we have E, A, and B. Okay? So these are one, four, and five. Now, let's take this back three frets. Okay? For the minor chords. So now we're at four, uh, fret four, fret two, and fret four again. For the six, two, and three. Okay, and we have C sharp minor, F sharp minor, and G sharp minor. Okay? I hope you're following. If not, go download the, the diagram from the website after we're done with the lesson and just watch the lesson again. Um, it will make sense in due time. Just practice this. It just takes time to see it on the guitar, to visualize it. So, uh, we have okay, this, which are the 6, the 2, and the 3. Okay? So we have 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1. And, as I said before, let's forget about the 7 right now, which is the diminished. Um, and let's talk about the minor scale. Okay? Um, let's talk about the minor scale. This, this now is the C sharp minor scale as well. Okay? So, the C sharp minor scale has C sharp minor, F sharp minor, and G sharp minor, which are, which are the 1, the 4, and the 5. Now let's go up 3 frets to 7, and we have E, A, and B, which are now the 3, the 6, and the 7. Ok? 
okay, of the minor scale. And that's it. That's how you find the chords to the scale in five seconds. Let's say you want to, let's practice this for two seconds, okay? Just one example. And then you go download the tab from the website, of course, for free, the, the tab. It's not a tab, it's, it's a diagram, a series of diagrams. And then you can rewatch this until you get it, and then it's a piece of cake, okay? It, it takes time to, to visualize it and learn how to see it, but then you can't unsee it. You just know how to find the chords to the scale. So, um, so again, let's take the B minor scale, for example. Okay? B minor scale. So, we want to find the B minor scale. Okay, now its base is on the A string, so we need the second shape of the formula. So we have B minor, which is the one. We want the four and the five, so the five is above it. Okay, we have F sharp minor, and the four is two frets back. We have E minor. Okay, so we know we have B minor, F sharp minor, and E minor, which are the one, the five, and the four. Now we go three frets up, okay, from B, which is on two, so it's three, four, five, and we have the same formula, only this time with major chords. So we have D, A, and G, okay? So we know that we have D, A, G, F sharp minor, B minor, B minor, okay? And we also know that this is also the D major scale. So we know that we have D, uh, D, G, A, B minor, E minor, and F sharp minor. Okay? Now let's take something from the first shape. Let's go for G sharp major. Okay? G sharp major. So we have G sharp major. We have the 4 below it, that's C sharp major, and we have D sharp major, 2 frets above it, that's 1, 4, and 5. Now let's take this 3 frets down, okay, from 4 to 1, and we have F minor, B flat minor, and C minor, okay, on 1 below it, and 2 frets above it, minor chords which are the 6, the 2, and the 3, okay? So, that was quick because I'm already used to that. So I just gave you an example on how quickly you can find it. So the G sharp major scale and the F minor scale both have these chords. G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F minor, B flat minor and C minor, okay? And it's also got the diminished uh, second on the minor scale and the diminished seven on the major scale, but I promise we won't talk about that because this is a beginner lesson and let's leave the diminished chords out of it just for now. Um, and we've found the harmonic, the melodic chords, even though a diminished chord is very, very melodic, but it takes time until you hear it um, before you can get used to the diminished sound. Uh, the diminished chord is very special, but let's leave that out for now because that's a more complex harmony. We're just talking about major and minor chords. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel, be my guest, and you're very welcome here. It's a very nice community, and um, I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, or at least that's my aspiration. And go download the diagrams from the website, and if you want to give something back for this free lesson, for any free lesson I upload, just click the donation button. I'd appreciate any donation whatsoever. And I'll see you the next lesson, whether it's a fingerstyle lesson or a... Um, uh, uh, an electric guitar lesson or an acoustic guitar lesson or rhythm lesson or another beginner lesson I'll be very happy to see you again so uh, just share this lesson with your friends tell people about Lick and Riff that's all I ask in return and 
have fun, enjoy, and practice this. This is one awesome formula, and I really hope that you understood what I was talking about. If not, rewind the video, just replay it, and watch it with the diagram next to you, and you'll get it in no time, because even though this looks a bit complicated at first, it's a lot easier than you think, because the guitar is a visual instrument, and it's really easy to transpose everything on it and to visualize things on the fretboard. Uh, so, I'll leave you alone for now, go get this under your fingers, have fun, and just be patient, work a little bit every day, and you'll get better in no time. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.